Hey guys, it's Karen and I have a quick dupe for you. It is a dupe for the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in bow and arrow. Let me just do a swatch there for you. And the dupe is, oh, can't get the top off, the L'Oreal liquid lipstick in Invincible Sable, it's called. So let me show you what they look like together. They are so similar, you won't believe it. Let me just make sure they're both done up properly. So that is the colours there together. So that one is the Kat Von D in Bow and Arrow, and that one is the L'Oreal lipstick in Invincible Sable. So it's called, let me see, I've got it up on the screen because I can never remember the name of it. L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Lip Colour. Um, and I think this is available worldwide. And I was looking at the prices and actually, Price-wise, although this is a dupe, price-wise, there isn't a huge difference. The Kat Von D one is about £14. It translates to about £14. And this one is £9.99 in boots. Um, but it's more about availability for us in the UK, actually, because we can only buy this from... I bought mine from Sephora. And from a quick look at Google, I can't find anywhere in the UK that sells this. I'm sure there probably is. Rose's Beauty Store might sell it. But it would be extremely expensive for us to buy this in the UK if it were available, I imagine it would be like £25 or something. And if we order it from the US from somewhere else, we'd have to pay customs, etc, etc. So um, it's a lot about availability, but it is also £5 cheaper. So what are the differences? We can see with the colours that there is barely any difference at all. I mean, I can't even see any difference. They're both that kind of brown, 90s colour. Um, I, Funny enough, I recently bought Kat Von D Bow and Arrow. It is a fairly recent purchase. I didn't know that it was exactly the same as this one. Um, and I bought this one when they were out of my Maybelline 615 Taupe Long Stay Lipstick, which is what I used to wear. I wore for years and years. And this one is a little bit darker. Um, but I've always worn it in a certain way. I've got it on today, this one. Um, and I put it on and then I powder over it, quite thickly powder over it. And then I used the lip gloss on the other end because that would be the difference. This one is a long stay lipstick. This one is a long stay lipstick, but it has a lip gloss on the other end. I say a gloss, it's more like a sheen, I'll show you. You can probably just about see that. It's more like a balm, a balm with more of a sheen than you would expect. Um, as a result, you probably only get half the amount you get in the Kat Von D. I'll see if it tells us here. I can't find anywhere where it tells me how much, but it does look like it's at least, because it's, it's less than half as tall as the Kat Von D, um, and it's a tiny bit wider. So I'd say you probably get half as much lipstick in the L'Oreal one, whereas you get a full tube, but it does come with that gloss, and I like that, and I've, like I said, used that today. But this one on its own, and this one on its own, is obviously much darker. It does come out that colour. Everything else about them is, in my opinion, exactly the same. Like, they last the same amount of time on the lips, they dry the same, they're the same amount of drying because neither of them is moisturising because obviously they're a liquid lipstick and generally a li liquid lipstick will be quite dry. I don't mind that at all, um, but neither of them feel any different in that respect. There is actually one difference between these and that this is much more pigmented. The Kat Von D one is much more pigmented. So with the L'Oreal one, you'll need to like go over your bottom lip, go over your top lip, maybe go over them once more. With this one, you could probably put it on your bottom lip, lip Put your lips together and that's you done. This is a lot more pigmented. When doing those swatches, I had to build the L'Oreal one up. So I should mention that the L'Oreal one is not as pigmented, but um, once you build it up, it is the same color. They don't look the same in the tube, do they? They don't, well, I guess they do. That one look, to me looks ever so slightly lighter looking at it like that, but on my hand, they look exactly the same. Um, and you can see they've dried down the same as well. They're actually coming off a bit there, but I think that's because I did quite a, a thick swatch if you do you wouldn't put it that thickly on your lips but yeah I can't think of anything else that would be different about these so I thought I'd let you know about that in case you are in the UK and had really wanted this you can get this and it's exactly the same so thank you very much for watching um, I'll quickly tell you what I've got on my face today I've got it on the MAC warm neutrals palette and I took a note of the color I was using because every time I told you guys about it I can never remember the colour. The colour that I've got on the main part of my lid is called Hey, H-E-Y. So that's the main colour you can see. And then I think, oh goodness, I didn't take notice of the one. I think it's called Dark Brew, something like that in the outer corner. Um, the foundation I'm wearing, I keep forgetting to tell you foundation. The foundation today is the Dior Skin Forever um, in 020. I told you what I've got on my lips. Um, for bronzer, I used a, a little Sigma. It's a tiny little one I got from 
um, look fantastic and I can't remember the name of it maybe Sigma only do one bronzer and then the blush I used was Marc Jacobs and it is in Outspoken that's the name of the blush it's the real lilac -y one but it doesn't necessarily look lilac on my skin but that's everything thank you very much for watching and I'll